A lot of people ask, Mike, what's the most realistic uh, upset game of the 2021 season? You mentioned a couple of them. I, I look at Florida. That's a really interesting one. You know, Florida the week before, they've got the, lar- the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. Do they even still call it that, that by the way? I, I, I figured a couple They're of years ago. They're not allowed, but they still do. <laughs> right, of course, of course. Cocktail party, whatever. Florida, Georgia, Georgia, Florida, whatever you want to call it. They've got that game the previous week. South Carolina is on a bye, and that game, of course, is in Columbia. I look at that one. That's really potentially interesting in regards to a, a big upset as far as a statement win. I had somebody ask me, what, what's a great statement win? I, I think that's your best opportunity. What's really interesting, Mike, about this year is South Carolina is going to be the dog in a lot of these games. You mentioned. I mean, even Kentucky. I'd be shocked if South Carolina's favored in that one. Even with it being in Columbia, they probably won't be favored against Auburn unless at you know, that point in the season it's so late. When you look at the schedule, I mean, if you had to pick one, I guess you just rattled off a couple, but you know, what would you say is that what would be the biggest statement game out of those I mentioned? Or one that you look at is like that is the best possible opportunity for Shane Beamer to kind of get the momentum going. Like you said, even if you go six and six, you get that big one though. And it's like, you can sell that to recruits. Like, Hey, we're just a couple of pieces away. This isn't some total rebuild. Like people are trying to make it out to be. We're only a few guys away. You get, you get those guys to come to Columbia and all of a sudden things turn around. Which one of those games would you look at it? it you know, just putting you on the spot. Which one would you look at and say, that's the one? Oh, I already got one ready for you, brother. I'm going, you're going to like this week three at Georgia. And I'll tell you why, because Uh, You know, I see, of course, Georgia opens against Clemson. Mm -hmm. So there's a very good chance they lose that game. So there's a chance that Georgia's already, I don't want to say exposed, but maybe, you know, some flaws are shown on the field against Clemson. There's not going to be much of a cupcake for them going, obviously opening the season against one of the toughest teams, probably, uh, you know, in the ACC there. And then if you're South Carolina, what, do you really have to show to beat Eastern Illinois and East Carolina? Mm. Now, I mean, they can't lay an eggs in any of those games clearly, but uh, I think Shane Beamer and company are going to have some tricks for uh, old, the Bulldogs. And uh, I just think that's one where, you know, Georgia's got a lot of turnover on that offensive line. JT Daniels, I know everybody's hyping him up. He's going to Heisman, <laughs> all this bullshit. Well, you know who he beat last year? He beat Mississippi State. They were god awful. Uh, no disrespect, South Carolina, they were awful. Right. Uh, Missouri, by the end of the year, was pretty awful. And then he beat Cincinnati. Wow, let's give him a fucking trophy. You know, that's not that impressive to me. So maybe the JT Daniels thing could be a little overrated. They already lost George Pickens. And uh, there was a couple games where Georgia got exposed on the defensive side last year. And if you look, you go a step further, they lost their top five corners. And they're turning around. They're, tr- they're hitting this transfer portal to get- add everyone they can. At, uh, at defensive back. So I think Kirby's worried about, uh, you know, his favorite position group was the defensive backfield. So I think there's some flaws. And if, uh, you know, it's kind of like Arkansas last season where, you know, they came out, they were pretty, they were pretty tough. They won uh, two of the first four. And this was an Arkansas team that had won a damn SEC game in two years. Mm. And everybody said it was going to go, oh, and 10, they were the damn laughing stock of the SEC. And I said, they were going to win multiple SEC games and they did, but, a team like that is going to come out stronger in the first half of the season before, uh, you know, the, the attrition and, and the depth kind of can, can get exposed by the end of the year. So I think South Carolina's best shot to pull an upset is going to be early in the year. And we all know that Georgia game, who knows what can happen in that thing. So uh, I'll pinpoint Georgia as that upset. Seven o'clock. And, and I'm kick. not, I'm not, I'm not predicting it. I'm just right, saying right, 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 that's right, the right. one where I think it could happen. 